me llamo Vecina de la Muerta. Art at the Movies with your boy B. Nance reviews Deadpool, directed by Tim Miller, starring Van Wilder, an annoying ass version of Van Wilder, a really hot V neck, and MMA boobs. Through an origin, revenge slash love story, we are introduced to Wade Wilson, the Merc with a Mouth, aka Deadpool, imbued with the mutant power to recover from any physical injury. We follow DP on a bizarrely comical journey to find the jackass that did this to him. Oh, and there's some motherfucking X-Men in there too. On to the pros and cons. Starting with the pros. Number one, Ryan Reynolds. If there was ever a person that was born to play a role, it was Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool. That's because they share the same trait and irreverent wit and optimism for any insane scenario that they find themselves in. Reynolds has been in a movie limbo for a while and it is some kind of poetic justice for him to get this second chance to play this character that fits him so well. Number two, the action. When there is action, it's visceral and fun. Well choreographed little moments give a whole new meaning to the phrase punchline. Number three, the humor. The jokes come fast and nonstop. DP's ability to break the fourth wall is used to well effect. In fact, the fourth wall breaking is probably some of the funniest laughs in the entire film. Number four, the romance. Morena Baccarin plays Vanessa, AKA copycat in the film. She's the love interest for Deadpool slash Wade Wilson. And in five minutes of screen time, probably a little bit more, honestly, but not much more, her and Reynolds establish a bond of love that is plausible for the world that they inhabit. Now for the cons. Some of these are going to be controversial. However, this is how I feel. Number one, ironically, the humor again. For me, if the jokes weren't meta or self-referential, the jokes became tiresome. I kind of felt like some of the villains wanting him to shut up. I don't think that this was intentional, but as an adult, there is only so much third grade bathroom humor that I can take without rolling my eyes and checking out. Number two, the trailers. If you want to go into this movie and really get your money's worth, do not watch the trailers. There is not really much to spoil plot wise, but the action sequences that they show in the film are some of the best set pieces of the entire film. They also introduce some jokes that you're going to see coming because the movie pretty much is very streamlined in its execution and they're not gonna be as funny as they could have been if you did not know about them beforehand. All in all, Deadpool was a slam dunk for Fox, Reynolds, and all who are involved. Took long enough, guys, but bravo. So if you like the demo, you like the review, please hit the like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.